Now, uh, with the Consumer Electronics Show kicking off this week, there's been a lot of focus today on tech news, including the expected debut of Apple's latest product, its tablet. Nahal Choksi is a senior analyst at Technology Insights Research for Southridge Research. Uh, he has an outperform rating on Apple, and he joins us to talk about uh, this, uh, what really has been one of the most widely expected products not of, of this year, obviously, so far, but also of 2009. Nail, thanks for joining us. What do you think uh, about the, the forecast, first of all, that there will be a tablet that sells 10 million units this year? Is that is that out of I belief, think, uh, the possible realm of belief? 10 million units is, I think, what the supply chain is being told to be geared up for. It's relatively easy for Apple to cut back on the supply chain if they decide that they don't see that demand, but that's probably what they think they're going to see. Uh, I think realistically... Uh, between four to eight million uh, i tablets could be sold. Of course, this is all speculation at this point in time because a, we do not know for sure when it will be available, what the functionality will be, what the price points will be. These are all critical in terms of uh, having a key on what the demand will actually look like. It is critical, and I'm assuming in your position, you've got to kind of come up with some metrics to assume what kind of you know kind of figure out what kind of impact it's going to have on the company. I mean, what do you think in terms of those areas? Uh, so I feel that. Uh, it's going to be mostly an iPod Touch with an operating uh, iPhone-type operating system. It's going to be jumbo size. But then you're going to have some key critical uh, extra attributes on there that will allow you to not just simply view print media but also uh, moving media. And that is, that, would, is that a big deal? I think it won't be a big deal immediately, but I think with the right partnerships, it could become a very attractive value proposition to consumers. When you say moving media, what do you, you mean watch movies, play video games, that kind of thing? And stream live content as well. And, 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 I mean, it's going to obviously have to have some kind of uh, connections here. Are you thinking Wi-Fi? Are you thinking 3G? What, what is, what is uh, the expectation? Wi-Fi is a relatively cheap technology put into a computer or a tablet or, or an iPod Touch. So nothing game-changing is what you're saying? Well, the game-changing part will be the partnerships that you put in there. And Apple is best positioned to bring in those partnerships. They have a 100 million-plus user base of uh, iTunes users. And so TV stations that see that, hey, there's an existing user base that we can go in, and if we can just get 1% of those to pay $2 per, 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 per programming subscription, mm -hmm. that's a big win. That's a lot more than what they get from the cable operators. You know, Nahal, we talked with David Iceford of T. Rowe Price earlier, and he said, you know, the Kindle, the Amazon Kindle is more about kind of me. I mean, is it, are they going to be ultimately two different products, what we get ultimately uh, from Apple and what we see with Amazon and Kindle? I think initially it will be different. Uh, the Kindle uses something called electronic ink, and supposedly the tablet will be utilizing LCD or organic LED-type displays, which is a little bit more difficult on the eyes for uh, intense reading. That's why the Kindle is a little bit better suited for reading, mm -hmm. uh, for, I guess, what you would call bookworms. And so I think uh, you will see a, di uh, a divergence of the two, two, uh, th two, two uh, markets. However, that does not say that you obviously will be able to read uh, print media content on that type of device. And you can change contrast. You can do other things to make it a little bit easier. Right. And it could definitely potentially be a competitor with Kindle. But I think it's going to be more of a... Uh, at least moving into the magazine content, providing interactive on that, and I hope that it will be able to provide a more of a mobile TV experience because that's what you're really going to need in order to justify 2 to 3x price of what the Kindle is going to be. Kindle what, what are you thinking there? Because 10 million units at 600 bucks is $6 billion in revenue. That's not too shabby for a new product in its first year. That, that would be phenomenal if they do that. Uh, like I said, I, I think 4 to 8 million is a more reasonable uh, demand profile that you're looking for. You also have to remember that if the supply it's not chain... not too shabby. Oh yeah, it's very good. And, and you also have to remember that the supply chain will get geared up for 10 million units. You have to supply your whole uh, channel inventory, so there's some uh, slack there. And of course, if you do see that kind of demand, then you can supply it. And But ballpark figure, you're looking for about $600 a, a piece? Yes. Yes. All right. Hey, Nahal, thanks so much for joining us. Nahal Choksi uh, joining us from Southridge, uh, talking about the Widely anticipated tablet. We have yet to hear, exactly. uh, though, the official uh, news on this. Now, can you guess what LL Cool J, Run DMC, and the...